Earlier this week, Republicans showed that we can change the status quo in Washington. The American people have made their position quite clear. Reverse the reckless spending and out-of-control expansion of government Democrats have presided over the past two years. Stop growing government so Americans can grow the economy and the jobs that come along with that. And Republicans made a small first step in that direction. Democrats have taken a different approach to these concerns. They've sat on the sidelines hoping the public's concerns would pass, or hoping that if they made enough of a stink over small cuts, they'd seem bigger than they are. In other words, the Democrats' whole approach is to see what they can get away with rather than to actually do something about the debt and jobs crisis Americans want us to address. The White House proposal yesterday is equally unserious. House Republicans have proposed a plan. It would reduce spending by $61 billion in this year's budget. Earlier this week, we voted on a two-week piece of that bill that reduces spending by $4 billion. The White House proposal, as outlined by the President's economic advisor yesterday, is to cut another $6 billion and call it a day. Even more outrageous, they say, is the proposal meets us halfway. I won't get into their tortured justification. Suffice it to say that Politico says it requires Americans to, quote, suspend disbelief, end quote. The Washington Post was equally unmoved by the White House logic. They said Democrats are disingenuous. Excuse me. Democrats are disingenuous, disingenuous in suggesting they've worked hard to reduce spending, and they agree that calling the latest proposal an effort to meet us halfway is nonsense. That's the Washington Post, Mr. President. They agree that calling this latest proposal an effort to meet us halfway nonsense. So amid all the fanfare yesterday, what the White House is proposing is little more than one more proposal to maintain the status quo, to give the appearance of action where there is none. The latest proposal is unacceptable, and it's indefensible. The American people are tired of hearing the same tired talking points from our Democratic friends. They would like action. In fact, they demand action. They want us to cut spending to help create a better environment for job creation. It's time for Washington Democrats to get serious. Mr. President, I suggest the absence of a quorum.